Well, we're, we might hit 100, actually. Rock, is that <laughs> taping? It is. Yeah, this is a school. Yeah. Just See? want to point that out. <laughs> this is why we do this every weekend. Back here, we just finished picking up our 101st needle of the day. And uh, that brings us to what I say, 991 needles for the year. Woo! Um, yeah. We're nine needles away from a thousand. And I remember when Old School started us on this, he was hoping we'd get uh, to 100 for the year. So, woo, knock that out of the ballpark. Um, anyway, we're gonna turn this over to Old School so that he can tell you how to properly do this if you're interested in doing this at all. Um, and if you are, you should hear it from the expert because this guy knows what he's talking about. So, um, wanna say bye, Nightbug? Bye, Nightbug. I have to live with this. It's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. And right now, I'm going to define myself by turning this off. Talk to you a little bit. Kill so, would you say this is a dangerous thing to do? It is dangerous. We use a pair of uh, gloves to mitigate some of the danger, but it's not mitigating all the danger. But it's a lot less dangerous for us with a pair of gloves and a pair of grabbers to get these things off the street than it is for a kid running down these alleys to pick it up with his foot or to pick it up with his bare hand. Not to mention animals that might happen upon yeah. them. Animals, dogs, you're walking your dog and poop right in the paw. I'm a little bit more worried about kids running down these alleys. Right. Where we just picked up those lost ones. That's a school. That's real. So what equipment would you say that they need to before they go out to pick this stuff up? The bare basics. Rubber glove sharp kit. Without a sharp kit, you're just some asshole on the street with a bot without a box. He's just as dangerous for you to carry him around as anybody else. You need a sharp kit. There you go. And he carries it in that. So, there you go. Easy to pull out, easy to put back in, keeping us safe. They do make sharp proof gloves. I don't recommend them because when you're wearing them, you feel impervious. And that's when you stick yourself in the leg. Not good. Not good. Okay. Thanks, guy. more question. Where can people look to find these? If they're having any trouble, just scour on the streets. Look down. That's where they're going to be. Uh, go to uh, your local Crime Stoppers website. The police always put these out. Wherever you see a needle icon, that's where high needle usage is. You can also look to see where, uh, where the drugs are. Look to see where day hotels are, where high crime rate areas are, and uh, wherever you see homeless encampments. That's where you're going to find the needles. Thanks. Caps like these, orange caps, big ones, and small ones, those are also needle caps. So if you see those, chances are you'll find some nearby. can find these. I don't know if you can see that. But if a child can see that, guess what? We're going to pick it up. And then you close it. Super important, right? Very important. Always close your box. Nobody likes an open box. <laughs> yeah, we're not rooting through all that. But that's what we pass by every day. I think it's going to be uh, 15. 15. And Buck's got two over there.
don't count. <laughs> Alright, so that one just has a lot of backwash in it. When you see a needle that has a lot of backwash in it, that means they hit a vein. I just bought another one that's through the fence over there. <laughs> Sometimes they're just out in the open like that. People are walking by. Look low and high to see sometimes. Don't touch it. There you go. <laughs> right by your foot, Nate. Right? There's one right here too, so yeah. that's a. <laughs> and just so you know, old school likes to lower numbers if he's not sure of how many we've picked up. He never wants to be accused of padding our numbers, so this time we're actually counting. The other thing you want to bring with you is food, socks, and baby wipes. If you start giving those to people on the street, they'll start giving you what you want, which is their sharps. You saw Miss Patty gave us about 40 sharps today. That's because every week we bring Pat Miss Patty some home baked uh, banana nut bread, which is what uh, Rock likes to make, and I make cornbread for. Them. They don't get a lot of home cooked meals. They really appreciate it, and they'll give up their sharps for it. Coyote is uh, the nemesis of ours, known as Major Dump. <laughs> Someone took a shit in a bag. And took the time to write something out in it. Damn you, Major Dump! Every single week. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty. That's what we uh. That's what we crawl through. We crawl through. Yay! <laughs> and you wonder why we made an instructional video. So you want to tell us why this is called F-Bomb Alley really quickly? Uh, this is the only time Seba has ever dropped the F-Bomb on us. Uh, <laughs> it was the day we found 100 needles in one spot. And on a scale of 3 to 18, how dangerous is this alley? This alley is about a 14. If you pan down, you can see there are people either shooting up right now or getting ready to shoot up. Yeah, so if you're not going to call this a patrol, you're kind of foolish, right? So. This is a patrol, and we also pick up a lot of needles on it. Um, this is a fairly dangerous alley. It's not the worst one we go down, but it's, it's not the best. Yep. Okay. Rock, you're going to be the middle, eyes up. One on the side, two on the side. Got it. So in case you didn't catch that because of the sirens, old school is telling me I'm going to be the eyes up. And we're going to have people on each side looking down for needles, but you've always got to have somebody eyes up scanning the entire situation, which means I'm going to turn this off now. Bye. This is Lost Boy Bridge. Why do we call it Lost Boy Bridge, Rob? Right? There's vampires. Because there's vampires there. Because uh, we came down here once and uh, on the overlays there were people sleeping, tucked up in, in hammocks, and uh, they could have dropped down on us, Lost Boy style. At so any time. So we're a little more careful here. So. And there's a big choke point that they closed off even more today. Ha, huh, nice. So along with looking down, you got to make sure you look up too, because those guys could have got you. You got to be super careful over here. It's kind of a waste area because it's pretty private. It's where people can use the bathroom. So um, 
bring a mask. It helps with the smell. Unless you get used to it after a while, which I still haven't. Yeah, this isn't a glamour gig, so. Everybody got socks and we hit 90 needles for the day. There's eight, there's 90. Where? 90. Give me the picker. Right there. Look at this, look. So he picks up a washer. Some garbage. <laughs> some garbage to make sure that he can get that needle. It's pretty good, bug. I think we'll keep you. Okay. 101. 101. <laughs> Woo! New record. 101 new record. There you go. Um, I always wondered why old school called uh, needle pickups patrols. I mean, I thought we were just going to go around, kick over a few pieces of garbage or something and pick up some needles underneath, but after maybe four crimes in progress and assisted the police with a couple of those, I realized he's absolutely right. Every single time you're out here, you're on patrol. Um, we run into all kinds of unstable people out there, of course, because we're heading down alleys where there are users and, um, you know, dealers. We don't want to appear to be threats out there. That's a dangerous thing when you have um, unstable people out there, especially in some of the dangerous areas that we're in that you've probably seen on the video or will see on this video. There are many places where the uh, exits are really tight and you can end up getting into a choked up area so make sure that when you go out there you go out there with more than one person if you can because it's always good to have someone be the eyes of the uh, of the group while everyone's eyes are down looking in for needles um, someone could be the eyes up person which uh, means that they're just behind you watching what's going on and assessing the entire situation. Uh, we always used to wonder, God, why are we so tired after these needle walks? Um, they usually take about three hours, but you know, we're used to walking around a lot and we realize it's because we're on the whole time. We're aware um, of what's going on. And if you're in any situation where your adrenaline's going for a while, you're gonna get tired. So if you do this, make sure you know that it's not just walking around looking for a needle on the ground. It's watching your area, your situation, and um, keeping your eyes open and staying aware. So this is a patrol. Those who don't think it is are very foolish and shouldn't go out there. Uh, that's it. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, Smells like cool punch. It's cool. Oh, thank it's cool goodness. Don't drink it. Don't, Don't drink, drink the Kool-Aid. Kool <laughs>